Hi everybody, I'm Karen Hatton from Home by Hatton Design Services and Home Staging. And I work with Jane Campbell um, on pretty much all of her listings to help get those homes ready for market. And I offer other services too. I offer design services. I can help you find furniture, pick paint colors, hang art, um, everything from just a simple redesign to full service design. Um, so you can visit my website at um, homebyhatton.com for more information. Paint is so important when you are selling your house and for a living. It can really make or break a room. It um, contributes so much to the mood of the room. So um, you can use it to really create a, a feelings of happiness and lightness. You can use paint to create feelings of um, quiet reflectiveness of daring and excitement. Um, it can really set the tone and can really unify a space as well. If your paint color is wrong, it can make the whole room just feel off. Sometimes potential buyers will walk into a house, they can't even put their finger on it. They just think, gosh, there's something off about this room. And if your paint color does not complement your furnishings, if it doesn't flow well with your um, trim color, then it's going to really make the whole room or the whole house just feel maybe dirty or uncomfortable or whatever, even if it's fresh paint. So having the right paint color um, is so important, especially for selling your home. When you are choosing paint to sell your home, right now what seems to be um, selling houses like pancakes is light and bright and fresh. Um, so buyers are really drawn into spaces with natural light. If there's not natural light, you need to kind of add some lighting and add some bright colors to uh, create those feelings. And so when you are selling a home, you are really focusing on that fresh, updated, light, bright, happy feeling. When you are choosing paint to live in, it can be more a reflection of your style and can, um, can create whatever mood you want to in that room, or even just, you can just pick your favorite color and then choose a shade of it that really complements your furnishings. So painting for living and painting for staging really are kind of two different animals. So right now we are still seeing in Nashville a lot of the modern farmhouse, a lot of the white and black, a lot of the high contrast, um, the blues are still very popular, kind of a soft blues. You can use that with your black and your white. That is still very, very popular. Um, I do see coming down from uh, East Coast and West Coast and other places, a trend to get a little bit warmer. Um, now, if you still have gold peanut butter brown walls, that's not what I mean by warmer. <laughs> I mean just a little bit not quite as white, not quite as gray, just a little bit more warmth to our grays and our neutrals. And I'm seeing a lot of green um, coming, every type of green, from emerald green to really light green. And so these are some colors I've been specifying a lot. Um, this is sort of a blue green that people put in bedrooms and um, just uh, actually their living room and everything. It's a very nice kind of a gray green. And then if you do prefer the warm colors, here's another green that you might want to think about to put in a dining room or a bedroom or somewhere. So greens are really trending and coming down the line. So when you are choosing paint colors, maybe thinking about the future, you might think of um, adding a little ivory or cream along with your white or instead of white, maybe adding some touches of green in your decor. Um, and then when you're choosing a paint color, um, I definitely do not recommend just going off a little square on the fan deck. There, it's just going to change so much when you have it in a wide swatch. And a lot of times people, you can go to the store and you can get a little pot of paint and you can paint it on your wall. The only problem with that is then you are seeing that new color in comparison to your old color and it really changes how it looks. I mean, it's amazing. So. When you go buy that little pot of paint, go buy a poster board. I mean, it's what, a dollar? And leave some white edging around your poster board and paint your color. 
and you can even do a bigger swatch than this. And then tape it to your wall and leave it there for a couple days. And then after a couple days, put it in another part of the room because it's gonna look different in different parts of the room. Put it across from your window, put it next to your window, look at it at night, look at it in a cloudy day, um, but definitely have some white behind it and try to look at it without your current paint color showing behind it because that is going to influence how you read it. And that paint color is going away. It will not even be there when you have your new paint color up. So try to look at your new paint color without the old paint color influencing you. And that is the best way to choose your paint colors. Lighting plays a big factor in choosing your paint colors as well. You may go to um, a neighbor's house or friend's house and be like, oh my gosh, I love this color. This is what I want in my house, but it may not look the same in your house. And so um, it's very important to do those big paint samples and to look at undertones. I mean, look at, these are all whites and there's everything from pink undertones to blue undertones to green undertones, yellow undertones. And it all depends on the lighting in your room, what furnishings are in your room, what's your trim color. If you put gray up next to a yellowy trim, sometimes it looks pink. Um, you just have to be very careful. And so if you are having trouble identifying your best color, call me, I'll come with my big paint boards. They already have the white around them. I've got everything from neutrals to colors and we can figure that out together. So when staging your home for sale, just remember the name of the game is light and bright and lots of space. And so you can really 